New tonight, moving out and up. We have our most detailed look to date of what the future of downtown Norfolk can look like. Revealed just hours ago is what a person could see in what is currently the St. Paul's Public Housing Project. But before that can become reality, people that currently live in the area have to find new housing. Set on your sides, Brett Hall was there as residents first learn the news of when they're going to need to move, Brett. Yes, that was what they learned after they saw what will replace what they currently live in. That's been a lot of the uh, hype around all of this, but 10 on your side has been covering the transformation since the very beginning. And at every meeting, what it's going to look like isn't the most asked question. The most asked question from the residents is asking, when must I move? Now they know. In a packed room, it was easy to pick out the excited Kanisha Spence. Yeah, very. I'm in phase one. She lives in one of the 187 Tidewater Garden units that will be first to be relocated to make way for the wrecking ball. It's time for old things to come down. And while Spence wasn't alone in her desire to see the 1950s era apartments go, she has three boys. And hearing that she will be forced to move as soon as next summer, it's overwhelming. I was kind of nervous at first. But Donna Mills with Norfolk Redevelopment and Housing Authority says that is exactly why she had a team in place tonight to start working with people like Spence. We'll meet with them in the meantime to get their relocation choices where they would like to move and start working to identify locations for them to move to. Mills says current residents will have the option to either go live in another public housing community or take a voucher and relocate to privately owned Section 8 apartments. Either way, the taxpayers will foot the bill for all moving expenses, including security deposits and utility loans. The funding that we receive is from the Department of Urban Development, and those funds will pay for the relocation cost. Residents will also have to decide by move out day if they want to come back to what replaces their old homes. Project leaders believe a lot of people will be like Spence. What it looks like is really nice. And they won't be returning to the mixed income housing community. It's just, you know, like, Time to go. Now, the big thing housing leaders stress tonight is don't pack yet. Everything is still subject to change and move everyone, moving everybody out of Tidewater Gardens, that could take three to five years. Now, all these details, though, need to be included for a grant application that could give the city of Norfolk $30 million to help them do all of this. That application is due in less than a month. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.